Hey guys, this is another lesson on projectile motion, kind of some, some uh, conceptual things. So, um, there's a couple things, you know, you should know, and, you know, they're pretty interesting, and so uh, I wanted to make a lesson for you. So, first of all, let's say we have a cannon here, and most people know, uh, you know, just from, like, real life, like, you know, if you're throwing a football or shooting a Nerf gun or something, um, if you do it at 45 degree angle, it'll go the farthest. And what's interesting is uh, I have my 45 degree angle here, like, um, going the farthest. But if you do an angle that's, let's say this, this right here, it doesn't really matter what it is, it's X. Um, it's X angle here. If it's X under this, wherever it'll land, if you go X over it, say these are the same angle, it will land in the exact same spot. It's just in this, it'll go too high, and this one can go too low. So just, just food for thought. Keep in mind. Uh, this next one you may have seen in your physics class before. Teachers uh, like it. It's a very uh, popular uh, experiment. Um, so let's say you have a uh, a cannon again, and it's aimed at something like a coconut in a tree. So this is black line represents its aim. It's perfectly aimed. Now what happens is if right when this is shot and this coconut drops, they both succumb to the same gravity. So they both succumb to the same amount of Y deceleration. So they both will fall at the exact same rate and hit exactly right as long as they this fires when this uh, lets go. So uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, the next one is, in case you go to Carnival, um, if you have a ball that is 2R, like, um, or if the ball has the same diameter, as the ring that you need to throw it in, uh, it's impossible to throw it in because in order to get it into this, you need to have some x velocity, and to uh, get it in here, it needs to be coming straight down in order for this to fit in between it. So it's impossible because you know it'll have some velocity. And the last one is, let's say we have like a table with three balls on it. Um, each one's a different color. Each one's going to a different speed. And so they both come all the table at uh, different times, but different speeds. And these are segments of time cutting out. And the thing to notice is that they all have different x, uh, x uh, distances because they all have different things. But again, just like the Canon one, they all succumb to the same gravity. So they all fall at the same rate. So these times are shown to, uh, just to, so you can see that you know, uh, it doesn't matter how fast they're going. They all fall at the exact same rate. And uh, those are just some interesting conceptual things. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll uh, see you in the next lesson. Catch you later.